What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another standard video here on YouTube or Twitch, wherever you may be watching this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. This deck was submitted by uh, Josh VS, a longtime stream supporter and Patreon supporter, etc., etc., etc. Josh supports in pretty much every way possible, um, and this is a this is a deck Josh has titled Just Guy Super Spells, and um, it's got a lot of legends. Look at all the legends in this deck. This deck is pretty legend. Wait for it, Dairy. Um, so all of these are legendary things. I don't actually, search for Escanta is too, but I don't think you can cast these. Only creatures are planeswalkers. I like the squee because there's really no way to get rid of a squee where we can't just cast it, right? Squee will always be able to come back so we can cast Urza's Ruinous Blast or uh, Temporal Manipulation, which is super nice. These are legendary, but not, not relevantly legendary, I'd say. Some Hawks? Like Healer's Hawk? Is there a different Hawk? In Standard? I don't actually know. Either way, we're definitely going to try this deck out and see what happens. I am a big In Bolas and In Bolas's Clutches fan, as you guys may know. It was one of my first cards I played. Also, I had Raph, and I had uh, one or two copies of the four four that makes another four four. Broodmate Dragon? No, the legendary one. I forgot its actual name. Caravex? Carex? Verox? Verix? Verix. I think it's Verix. Varix Bladewing, that guy. Rorix's brother, or sister. I don't know. <clears throat> How can I incorporate more iron into my diet without taking supplements? That's hard if you don't eat a lot of meat. I think eating meat is one of the easiest ways to do that, and I, I myself also don't eat a lot of meat. So, I'm probably not the best person to ask. Boat remembers Carpenter Shore hand. Um, well, this hand is not keepable. Every time our first hand has no lands in it, I always want to be like, how many lands do we have? 25? 25 is good. We might want 26. This is a keeper. That's a keeper. Yeah, you can stay. You're a great one. We're all we're doing we're doing the thing. Spinach is good. Oh, spinach is high in iron. You're right. That is an irony food. <clears throat> An overgrown tomb, huh? All right. All right. No. Man, two shock lands on the play. Wonder, uh, on the first turn, rather. Wonder, uh... I don't know what I wonder. I think I was going to say wonder how long this is going to be a thing, and the answer is forever. For as long as they're legal and standard, they will always be a thing. Popeye died of iron poisoning? No, no. No. This round brought to you by Dr. Frank. Hi, hi everybody. I'm Dr. Frank. Oh, and Arguel's Bloodfest. Arguably a decent enchantment. Now we have two spells up. Two super spells, that is. <laughs> I don't actually know if they're that super. They could just be pretty average. They're not legendary. And legendary uh, strikes me as the the quality of being. What's Squee doing in our deck? He's hanging out. What's wrong with that? I just want everybody to know that when I get paid again, I'm buying myself some me undies. I encourage everyone else to do the same. Johnny, big, large, and tall is appreciated, buddy. But be sure to use my affiliate link, which is meundies.com slash franklapore. And then you'll get a 15% discount. And you'll get free shipping and free returns. They didn't want to play anything? They're like, no, nah, I'm good. Oh, Demir Guildgate. Interesting. That's not the ideal Salty land. But I do appreciate you playing Salty. Salty? Salty? Salty. <laughs> I'm glad you're playing Salty. I 
I don't buy panties like <laughs> Never. Welp. That's something right there. That is something. Yeah, you draw your card. You draw nine more cards and you're dead, buddy. I'll get them. They're just not going to play anything. They're like, I don't have to play anything. That unlocks the God account on MTGO. Yeah, that's basically... That's like the Contra code of Magic Online. If you cast Squee from all the zones, then you get to... You, you ascend to the next level. God, they're just going to draw all the cards, aren't they? They only drew one card there? I guess because they're going to play a land and pass, so they don't need nine cards. But still... <clears throat> Don't you know how Necropotence works, buddy? Uh oh. What are you doing? Not gonna use that one. Okay. Oh, you are using that one. I'm actually tempted to let them use this play Wrath and then play Urza's Ruinous Blast, but if we don't hit a land, it's pretty bad, so I'm actually not going to do that. I'll do you for one. Man, Vivian Reed is a hell of a drug. We did not hit a land. Still going to cast Raph here at the end of the turn. Where does this list come from? This list comes from Josh VS. Otherwise known as Josh VS in chat. Oh, you're right. Because this is, uh, she would be legendary. That's a good point. That's a good point. So, yeah, that's why we didn't do that to begin with, obviously. Sometimes magic rules change, like when Planeswalkers became legendary. Um... And then, like, it takes your brain a while to actually, like, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it takes your brain a while to, like, ingrain that, uh, that change. Josh VS and Chad, did you bring? <laughs> oh, Sarah. Okay, this is one too many squeeze. Yeah, Acclimate's good. We can use Acclimate there. Calcify. Uh, I'm not sure that's as good. I'm not sure I want anything in my brain to be calcifying. That just feels bad, man. Hmm. This seems really childish of you. Okay, you got it. I'll definitely use this ability. I'll definitely get a planes. I'll definitely... Nope. Kapow. Unfortunately, the squeeze are legendary, though, so the multiples... I think we're going to cut one squeeze already, just because you never want to draw three. Like, because, like, you only need one. Oh, I see. Well, that guy's not legendary, so that's pretty all right. That guy had to go. Hello, future me. Don't drink the iced tea. Any iced tea at all? Oh, really? This is fascinating. I got rid of my squee, but I can just recast my squee. If we had a way to discard cards, right? Like, that'd be good. But I actually, I can only get discard squee once. They're at eight? My god. <clears throat> really putting the squeeze on our opponent. We can deal them four with Emulating Inferno now. Which is nice. Which means you only have to get in there with two pecks. Two pecks of a squee. Eldest Reborn? Dang. Thankfully. 
thankfully, the uh, Carnage Tyrant was exiled. Keep on coming back, Squeezels. I think the reason uh, they made the the legendary sorceries not count for any legendary permanent was because um, these are very easy to get online and they're very hard to remove, right? So you can play a turn two search for Azkanta. It would flip into a legendary land and then you just have <clears throat> all the legendary sorceries are online for the rest of the game. So it's really not hard to work around those. Okay, well... Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of value you're getting here. Um, no, I would never put a Teferi in my graveyard. So, what did they get back with the Plague Crafter? Interesting. So I assume they're getting back our Wrath. Hmm. Maybe Tefri was incorrect here, I'm not sure. They get back our Wrath. We can just to strike the Chupacabra and take three and also keep up Squee. Not keep up Squee, we keep up Essence Scatter. <sighs> Fascinating. I do like that we didn't put Tiffery in the graveyard for them to get back. That'd be probably pretty bad. They also have Plague Crafter in hand, so if they play Plague Crafter, I really don't want to have to discard a card. I might just want to play Squee here. Yep. Man, where's a Tristani when you need it? Yeah, definitely not blocking here because I if they play Plague Crafter, I'd rather just oh, they didn't play Plague Crafter. Hmm. Fascinating. They have a legendary creature? Vraska's contempt. Alright. Uh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wanna be a squee. I wanna do do do. I wanna do 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 do. I feel like Emulating Inferno is really gonna do us a number here. Like we can do two, two, and two, but we can also just get rid of this guy. We're definitely just striking this. Unfortunately, Squee is legendary. Unfortunately and fortunately. Like we want it we want him to be legendary so that he turns on all of our legendary things, but I would really like to put multiple squeeze on the board. Yep. I will sacrifice Squee. For obvious reasons. I 
I like Justice Strike a lot. I think it's very solid removal. It's very good. That's nice. How much? What are you doing here? Did you just draw a card in response to me killing Raph? That was an interesting choice. No blocks. I just want to resolve my search for his counter trigger. Can I do that, please? Why do you have to make it so hard? Come on, buddy. Yes, we 100% top any land. Um, I don't think we want a second one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, and we will flip. And we'll hope to hit another land. We did not. However, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, Lava Coil is pretty nice. I wish it was an instant, though. If this was a Justice Strike, it'd be nice, because we can kill this guy after. It actually might just be Lava Coil, this guy, because then it does, they don't have enough pressure to... That feels right. They don't have enough pressure to kill Teferi. They have a Pump Spell, though. They're okay. Where's your pump spell? Show me your pump spell. <laughs> Fascinating. I mean, that's fine with me, I guess. I think they realized their cast downs are basically dead, so the value of having a Golgari Fine Broker in the graveyard to return with any subsequent Golgari Fine Broker is. Um, probably just better. Like, it's just better than having a blank cast down. I think they've realized that there's... It's unlikely that there's going to be any non-legendary creatures in our deck. So... Ah, oh, I see. It did not force me to do it, so I did not get my lands. Doesn't matter, but I still... Don't like that that happened. Okay. One, two, Eldest Reborn. Ah, <sighs> seems good. And if we had Squee in play, they would still make a sacrifice Squee, and then they would just attack the... Yeah, every time I have Lava Coil on my deck, I always hope it was just a strike because of the instant nature. Especially with the Tefri. Like, being able to untap Lava Coil mana is pretty strong. One, two, three. This should be game. I can't imagine that. I actually could have Karn's Temporal Sundering there, huh? One, two, three. One, two, three. No, we couldn't. We were one shy. We don't have enough mana. We couldn't. We couldn't squeeze in Karn. Also, if we attack, they would likely just block with uh, with Plague Crafter, and then we wouldn't be able to Jizem Leading Inferno. Because they would block, and we wouldn't have a legendary guy. 
At least that would be my assumption, and it probably wouldn't be worth the risk, because I'd probably just dilate Millennium Inferno without attacking. Yep. What do you play here? Oh, you can sack Muldrotha for six life. That's a lot. I guess I could play Plague Crafter. No, that doesn't do much. Oh, because Fine Broker is very good with the Muldrotha in the graveyard. Yep, speak of the devil. Yeah, this is actually going to make it harder to win now. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We can deal six. We can go six, six, and six. Actually, that's pretty good. What did they get back? Chupacabra. Okay, sure. So they're going to gain six, but they're going to go to three. So they actually go to one. Seems fine. Tano's 14 months in a row, buddy. What's going on? Wait, you sack the small one. So you go to one. And then I kill you. Huh. That's... That seemed like not the correct play. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops is right. All right. So, other lava coal does seem good when they try to have graveyard shenanigans. Um, hmm. Ruinous Blast seems okay. It doesn't hit Planeswalkers, Eldest Reborn, or Muldrotha, or Arguel's Bloodfast. I kind of like Negate here. Let's take out one Squee. Squee was good. Squee was very good, but I don't think we want three Squees. Bring in the Sphinx, really? 6-6? Six, six? It does hit Eldest Reborn? Ruinous Blast? I'm pretty sure the sagas are legendary, are they? Sagas aren't legendary? They're historic, not legendary. Is that's that's a that's interesting. That's an interesting distinction. I did not know that. Once you said it I knew it, but oh, me, I'm a... Can't work at the same time as playing. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you can play multiple Hister Benalia. That's a good point. That is a smart point. God, you guys are so smart. Captain can go? Why? Captain seems great. Ramps us into five, which is really all I want. This seems all right. I couldn't find any good three drop. You don't, but you sometimes you just don't need three drop legends. You know what I mean?
What did I say? What did I say that wasn't nice? Also, if we drew like a captain here, that would be gas. G A S. I want to respond. I don't want to not respond. We don't need you, three drop legendaries. All right, so we're just going to keep playing dual lands until we don't need to play dual lands. This hand is pretty gas. Duress. No. Like, the worst thing you could take is probably negate, I think. If you took one of these two, I probably wouldn't mind. So, I'll just negate it, and then you don't get the information either. So, we're going to play this. And then next turn we can play a Niv-Mizzet, which cannot be cast down, which is nice, but it can be Vraska's Contempted. However, I'm not going to... Probably not going to be waiting till I have eight mana to cast a Niv-Mizzet, just so I can keep up. Negate. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do. We're under no pressure. That is just fine. I will sacrifice nothing. Okay, well now we're probably going to... But then they get it back if this triggers. Uh, I'm just going to pass here. Like if they can go... Eh, actually, the only thing they could probably kill it with is Vraska's Condemn. I guess Blake, they could play Plague Crafter. Oh, Stormcrow, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. I will discard a Settle the Wreckage here. I think having the two uh, individual targeted removal spells are good. Also, uh, I don't want to discard a Negate or a creature here. Another one? Um, I am probably going to counter that. Uh, now I feel more comfortable playing Niv because this is going to resolve. They're not going to be able to get anything back. And they have to have a removal spell during our upkeep. Actually, they wouldn't actually have a, a chance because they have to target it. Yeah, this seems good. They're going to have to target it while this is... Uh, I guess it happens to the draw step, doesn't it? Yep, that's pretty insane. That's really obnoxious. They just happen to have Assassin's Trophy. Yep, I wish I thought this was upkeep. It's actually at the draw step, so they actually do get a chance to kill our Niv Mizzet. One, two, three, four. Uh, red, we have one, two, three, four. White, we have one, two, three. I guess we'll just get a white. Yep, that's pretty nuts. That's so stupid. I should. I mean, I could have just waited, but I really thought this was upkeep. If this triggers during the upkeep, there's no actual point before that that they could actually kill our guy because you go straight into from untap to upkeep, and um, you'd have to put the tar you'd have to have a target for it as soon as it goes on the stack, and they wouldn't have. So. So here we go. Enjoy. So they drew a card, we lost a Justice Strike, and we discarded a Settle. So their Eldest Reborn ended up being a 3 for 1. Dan Omak, welcome back. Five crazy months. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Wow. Multiple, uh... Alright, all right, sure. Yeah, and it's just true. Both the Assassin's Trophies did get us, get us lands as well, so those kind of balanced out, I think. I wonder how many Eldest Reborn this deck runs. That card is very good. The good Vraska. Alright, well, that's a thing. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We're probably just playing Niv Mizzet here. Oh, but then she they have Vraska on board, so that seems pretty stupid, I guess. 
Huh. Yeah, I'll just play Nibisa to your brass. God, Assassin's Trophy is so good. Well, we yeah, they're probably holding Plague Crafters and Chupacabra. Uh, maybe. I mean, if they're holding a Plague Crafter or a Chupacabra, you probably wouldn't Assassin's Trophy my liar. You'd probably just play your guy on the board. It feels weird that Saga's trigger after the draw step. That's It's just a weird time for a thing to trigger. I like how all the chat is saying Raff and Squee end step. Like, yes. Yes, Raff and Squee end step. That is correct. You got it. Fine broker getting back. Probably Eldest Reborn. That's pretty scary. Could have played this during upkeep just to deal of damage, but without knowing what we're drawing, I mean, if we drew like a Jaya's Millennium Inferno, I'd rather just have the mana up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can actually also lava coil this dude. Should have called first, I guess. If we lava called first, we'd have also attacked with the squee. I don't think we actually care about this though. I think we just want to niv mizzet here, and um, we can sack this guy to Eldritch Reborn and then just replay it. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, we paid a white, a white, which we <laughs> actually can never do. So blue, red, blue. No, no. Red and red. Very tricky to cast. Uh, I don't want to do it during their end step because if they have any sort of instance or sorceries, I want to be able to. Um, I want to be able to take advantage of that. I also want to be able to Justice Strike and not have to... Like, we know they have Eldest Reborn, so they have two other cards. I guess they could Vraska. Oh, I forgot about that. God, Vraska's a real problem. <laughs> I keep forgetting about Vraska on board. This is terrible. Alright, that's the last It's the last time we're forgetting about the Vraska on board. Yep, Eldest Oh, Vivian Reed instead of Eldest Reborn. Fascinating. To kill a raff, sure. To be fair, there's a lot going on. No attacks, huh? Can we draw Jaya's Immolating Inferno one time? That would actually be insane. Shoot, shoot, shoot. One time for Jaya's Immolating Inferno. One. Beautiful time. Good times, good times. 
five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. So we get Immolating Inferno for seven. Sure. Okay. Well, that's sad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're definitely going to try to counter that. One, two, three, four, five. They have five up. We have six up, so that's what we're hoping for. So we're going to have Eldest and Fine Broker. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five free. And we'll six you. I mean, we could wait till they play Eldest Reborn, but they're just going to get another Eldest Reborn back with this, so it's actually worse. <laughs> yep, I will sacrifice a Squee. Take five, go to nine, draw Dry Zimbalating Inferno, kill everything on board. One, two, three, four. That is not it. Feels rough. Feels bad, man. Feels Batman. So you're gone. <laughs> sure. That's a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is over. I don't think we have a way to deal with this. <coughs> Oof, excuse me. Are there more ways to deal with planeswalkers? What just happened? Did they just Vraska to kill Squee? Interesting. I mean, I think a uh, Settle the Wreckage would be nice here. Jai Zimulating Inferno would be okay. Actually, none of those things are okay because they have a Carnage Tyrant, so we're just going to go to the next game. Okay, so multiple planeswalkers, eldest reborns. Definitely want the other negate in here. I feel like Urza's Ruinous Blast not being able to deal with um, planeswalkers is pretty rough. Friend of mine playing Counterburn Standard with 3-0 last night. Yeah, that makes sense. Why do you keep wanting to bring in the creatures? Like, they have Vivian Reed and they have Eldest Reborn and they have Vraska. Like, if we bring in these creatures, they're all just going to die. Like, they're all just dying to the, to the removal they have. Like, I really want them reanimating uh, Aurelia's and Azor's and Niv-Mizzet's. Like, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not going to take out the creatures I do have, but I'm not going to just throw in a bunch of, like, another six drop and another four drop. <sighs> feels, feels Batman. I actually like this hand a lot. This hand seems great. Yeah, you're right. We only have a couple of threats. That's true. But my problem is they have infinite removal already. And I'm already 
scared enough of uh, things like Eldest Reborn where they can just take our stuff. Not going to keep single paid up. I don't think they have many two drops that we really care about. Yeah. Don't don't duress me, bro. Well, well. Never don't have it. Yeah, Blaze is good. I can see bringing Blaze in. But we had three Jai's emulating Inferno, so I was like, eh, maybe that's pretty good. Maybe that's good enough. I don't know. Um, I actually will put this in the graveyard. Because we have a land, and I, I want a white mana. Biaw! Hopefully this Lannery Storm just gets there. That would be such gas if they just took out anything that can deal with Lannery Storm. The District Guide. I'm actually probably going to Lava Coil this and attack again. Justice Strike. Graveyard. Huh. That's interesting. She doesn't have to deal damage, right? She just has to attack. That's pretty good. So that's the swamp you got. That's nice. I love a find broker on an empty board. That's or uh, without an empty graveyard, I guess you should say. Um, I will keep that. Hmm. Uh, it's never going to be strictly better. That's not how strictly better works. Strictly better means every single situation it's better. It's definitely not. Definitely not strictly better. Target player, bounce you. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is aggressive. Give me a Teferi on an empty board. That'd be such gas. Um, no, we'll keep that. I feel like we're way ahead right now. The inescapable place. That's a land. That's a really scary land. Do you guys play? Uh, how many copies of the inescapable place do you have in your in your seventy five? I love to argue dict diction and semantics with people. I try. I guess maybe I don't try to do that. I don't know. It's just important to me as someone who uh, I think words have meaning and the specific words you choose have a lot of meaning as well. Ew. <laughs> this hand is really not that scary. Actually, maybe it is because we just go Wrath, attack you for three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, Immolating Inferno for five. I mean, you can take the Immolating Inferno and let me keep Essence Scatter. What's the meaning of pot pie? Um, well, pot pie is a food, so I don't know if it really has a meaning per se. Because <laughs> if I can buy an Oxford comma, I've seen those English dramas too. <laughs> it's that's a oh man, I, that's a great Vampire Weekend song. I'm actually a big Vampire Weekend fan. Kapow. Or Raphael. Vraska's content. Why did they say ew at this? Like, their hand is, like, totally fine. They're not in that bad of a shape. Uh, definitely put Squee in the graveyard because it's like drawing Squee. <laughs> Alright, well. It's 
pretty good. Emily Inferno. You can go in the graveyard. Oh, and negate. Where were you last turn? Take your handbook. It's not true. Put the judge. Put it on your head. I guess we'll discard Essence Scatter. I think Negate is probably stronger here, especially when we have all the creatures we do. No, I think I'll throw, that's a good album. That whole album's very, very good. God, that album's 10 years old. That, 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 that album came out in 2008, I think. Wow, that's crazy. So I think Nexus Fate is better than this deck. Um, I'm not sure. Bouncing was it was and is extremely relevant. And six mana is actually it's gonna sound funny, but if you play magic, you'll know what I'm talking about. Six mana is a lot less than seven mana. Sure. We know they have a fine broker in hand. Ascanto's gonna flip. Oof. So they got a two here. Uh yep, graveyard. Yep, flip. Yep, draw. That's not great. I mean, if we had Lightning Strike in here, we probably would have uh, used this Kanta, but the most we can get is a Gyres and Lightning Inferno. However, if we go one, two, three, activate, we only have three mana left, so we can't really do that. Fine Broker, get back Eldest Reborn, seems good. Kapow. Raphael. One, two, three. Take the chapstick. Put it on your lips. Oh, a whiff. That's okay. We didn't want any of those anyway. Ooh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. They're at two, we are at 20. We know they have Eldest in hand, as always. I guess we're going to play this because for reasons. Yeah, oh, that's actually fine. We didn't have a way to stop that anyway, so it's not like we took our shields down to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that. Take the chapstick. 
God, Thanos, you got this song stuck in my head, dude. Did Thanos leave? Thanos, are you gone? Thanos, can you? Oh, he's still here. Okay. Yeah, now you have, uh, you got some Vampire Weekend stuck in my head, buddy. Someone yelled at kids during FNM after the kids beat him and they all just were going to me. Oh, would you go ahead and stop going to that local game store? That's pretty terrible. Anyone who's yelling at kids is not really... <laughs> is not really... Um, I don't think that that person is really fit to be playing a competitive game where losing is a large part of it. Even the best Magic players in the world have like a 60% win rating on the Pro Tour. So, like, if you're losing 40% of the time and you're one of the best players in the world, you should probably be used to losing about 50% of the time at your local game store. And if you're going to yell at kids because you're losing, maybe magic isn't the game for you. Yeah, I would either I would either make sure that person knows that it's not acceptable, even from not an owner standpoint, like from a, from an employee standpoint. I would make sure it's it's known from like a player standpoint, like, hey man, that's not cool. Um, we'll just refuse to play with you <laughs> because that's not a cool thing to do. Um, or I don't know, maybe insist that the owner does something. <sighs> All right, so what we can take one squee out. Squee is is great, but I think squee is. What are like the big decks in the in the standard right now? Is Golgari like a big thing? Like the value from the gold, these Golgari decks is actually unbelievable. They all look different though. Like I'm, I found two other Golgari decks on like the five O, and they all look totally different. Thank you. What? Jarman, welcome back, buddy. Thanks so much. Nine months in a row. It, on a positive note, it's our subversary. Happy, uh, happy subversary. Our our sub baby is finally due. Pretty much any thirty five Golgari spells do well. It does seem like that, doesn't it? It sure does seem like that. Uh huh. Hi, boys and girls. Uh huh. I'm Mickey Mouse. Like, I get being upset when you lose. Like, I've definitely gotten salty. I've definitely tilted before. Like, it happens. That's life, right? But, like, if someone said to me, hey, man, you probably need to take it easy. You're ruining the enjoyment for other people. I would be like, I understand. That is not okay. And, uh... I need to work on that. Alright, so... Yeah, I would definitely accompany my kid to the magic shop, too. That... I feel like that only makes, especially. If, I mean, if you, especially if you play magic yourself. Put it on. How old are the kids? Ninety-seven and one hundred and twelve. They're a little older. I might just want one more lava coil or one more justice strike. I feel like justice strike is more times. It's good more times than it's not. That's the only change I really want to make right now. To be quite honest. Do we like Fiery Cannonade over Deafening Clarion in this deck? I feel like Deafening Clarion could be really good. Is Mike B 97 or 112? Mike B is like six years old. Got him. I guess Fiery Cannonade doesn't kill Lannery or Raf Capuchin. Or it does kill Squee. I guess we can stick with the... Uh, I, I don't feel like I know enough right now to really make a...
Rogue Optic. I actually didn't get many. It was really sad. I went up to... I tried to go up to Red Rocks to take some pictures. And uh, all, unfortunately, there was a show that night. And it was like 5 o'clock, so people were already getting there. And I couldn't actually go in um, without... So, <laughs> I rented a car, but I didn't get to, to rent the car until about 2 or 3. And then when I got back, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, this is going to be awesome. I'm going to grab my camera. And my battery wasn't charged, which is super weird because I could have sworn I charged it before I left. But either way, I had to charge the battery, which took another like hour and a half. Um, I, I, I just went with like a 30% charge because I was like, this doesn't, it doesn't have to be fully charged. I'm not going to go ham here. And I uh, went up. And uh, I, had to, I had to leave because there was a show and I didn't have a ticket. So it was real sad. And then, so the point the point of after that, by that time, it was too late to go anywhere else because it was already like 5.40 and the sun was setting at like 6.23, which I looked into to make sure that I would have enough daylight. And uh, yeah, it, the whole weekend was kind of like a, it was just like one kind of like awkward happenstance after another, I think. What? What is this? What is this little idiot? Get out of here. Rogue Optic, you should definitely do that. That sounds awesome, dude. I'm like an hour away from Orlando, so that's a pretty easy trip. Um, do I lava coil this guy? This one, two? No, I don't care about it. Oh, actually, maybe they put Curious Obsession on here. They could have played... Yeah, we're just going to kill it. We're going to try to anyway. And we're going to succeed. Did I just miss a did I just miss a crazy donation? Thank you. Cody, <laughs> thank you so much, dude. <laughs> really appreciate it. It's your boy Swamp Dog, who has uh consistently supported the stream in a ridiculous, ridiculous way. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Do we make two months in a row of five hundred subs? So far we are at two hundred months in a row of five of five subs. OMG Zoro, thank you for the resub. Uh you guys are awesome. Cody, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I can actually change the thing now to November rent, which is great. I actually wasn't sure if we were going to finish this this one. I mean, if we don't, I'll just go to the next month, but not a big deal. But really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are my favorite. They didn't play anything here. I actually love my chat more than... Uh, like, I'll see other people's chats... I'll see them. I see your chats. And I just don't think they're as good. I guess we just run a Lyra out here. I don't know what they have, but... It can't be better than a Lyra, right? Yes, and scatter. Single paid for one. Wizard's retort. That's just rude. Why are you the way that you are? Cody, if you want me to check out any other decks, let me know. Do let me know, because I am... Uh, that is 100% a reasonable thing. <laughs> so definitely let me know, dude. Really appreciate it. I am going to just attack with this Lyra. You ready? All right, go to combat. Thank you. Oh, it wouldn't let me do it. That's weird. I guess we'll just play Niv Mizzet then. One, two, three, four, five, six. This land was perfect. Look at this. One island, then you got the things, and then, oh, uh, I guess the uh, game's over. All right. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Cravens, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Anyway, what I was saying, um, <laughs> what I was saying was so far we are currently over 500. We've been over 500. There's been a few dips. Like we went down to like 420 for a while, then we went down to 480. Um, but for the most part, we have been over 500 for the majority, and I think that should still count. I can't imagine that it doesn't count. I can't imagine they're going to be like, well, you had two days that you didn't have over 500, so that doesn't count. You have to have, like, every single day, because there's no way you can really manage that, right? I think they just check it on, uh, you know, they check that, like, each month, like, you had 500. 
I have main it's been maintained is really what I'm getting at and probably what they're getting at as well all the cards in our deck seem good against this deck Emulating Inferno seems like it would kill a bunch of things. Cheat and Able, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Karn's Temporal Sundering might be a little slow. I think they have a lot of pirates. I'll probably just want a Lava Coil and a Negate. I'm going to take out Syncopates. Lava Coil is pretty much going to kill everything up to and including Jin of Jin of Basic Basic Islands. I don't know what that dude's called. So what have we changed? I had to, oh, I literally, I literally took out one squee for one lava or one the fourth justice strike because I think justice strike is very very good. So that's pretty much the only change we've made so far. Oh yeah, this is definitely they're playing curious obsession faux show. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Oh, they didn't do it. Oh, this is gonna be rough if we if we draw that fiery confluence, uh, fiery cannonade that we didn't board in. Then they're gonna get wrecked. Oh, two islands. Okay. I'm only here for the Japanese candy reviews. All right, well, I got some news for you, buddy. This is actually very um, no. No, I will not put that in my graveyard. <sighs> I guess at worst we just trade. That seems bad though, right? Actually, maybe we just... Eh, whatever. <gasps> they didn't block? Oh, gas. <laughs> okay, sure. I was afraid you might not hit a fourth land. I will take all of that. I'm pretty sure they're still gonna. Uh, it's gross. Um, I don't want to take two here. I guess we can, and then we can just crack the treasure instead. No. Well, that's unfortunate. Sometimes they don't know about the uh, the settle the wreckage. I think Frank's Frank's little extra something is that he can look at chat and play at the same time. Any other streamers stop playing whenever they're talking? That's interesting. Why would they do that? And of course, the hot gas fire memes that keep coming every turn. God, do we just? Uh, I'm gonna do this guy. What are the odds? You have a counter spell for a wrath. Oh, you got wizards. Wizards blightning. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're all friends here. We're not really. This is how you want to be. Urza's ruinous blast. Um, no, I'll keep you. So we're not dead yet. That's cool. I like not being dead. Karn's temporal. I'll take a turn. I'll bounce this dude. And we'll see what see what happens here. See what the world has in store for us. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, thank goodness. Good lord, that could have been bad. I guess it's because we were in the middle of casting the spell. I think if we did that without casting the spell first. Um you just have two? Sure. Well, you win. Congratulations. Block one, two, three, four. Actually, we probably could have blocked. No, we couldn't have blocked here because. Okay. So. I think Fire Cannonade's probably still good because they don't have that many guys. Shut up and take my money. Why do you only have one nerd on the board? <laughs> Here's $5. Why do you only have one nerd on the board? I don't know. That's a good question. 
It's a learned skill from what I've seen, and it can be hard for people to do that when they start streaming. You don't necessarily have a lot of viewers to interact with. Hell, even just remembering to describe what they're doing. So it's not watching someone silently playing the game is tough. Essence Scatter is horrid. You're horrid. Got him. Oh my god, he got him so hard. Jeez, he's going to have to leave the stream now. Barman, I'm sorry, buddy. That was rough. Did you... Did you feel... Have you ever felt that wrecked before? That was a good draw. New rule, you can only insult Frank if you don't... That's actually... I'm a good... I'm. That's a great rule, actually. I'm out of here. Oh, can I get a land? No? Oh, you meant yes. I appreciate that. Counter it, I dare you. Oh, we should play Land Restore. I'm so bad at this game. I wanted to get this guy off the board as soon as I could because it's very hard to deal with. It is a wizard, though, so they... Oh, all right. <laughs> I was going to say, they can pay one to... Uh, to or two to counter it, rather. Oh, a little trickster. We have to leave stream. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a sad uh, it's a it's a hard side effect. Um, no, I'll keep this. That's a good one too. One, two, three. Captain Lanari Storm. Are you gonna counter this? Shut up and take my money. Get wrecked. <laughs> Five get wrecked bucks. Tonos, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate really appreciate getting wrecked. Always a pleasure. I will show them who the, who's the more powerful wizard. Okay. Um, that's going to have to go in the graveyard, much to my chagrin. Well, we can't do anything this turn. We can Essence Scatter, so we're only taking three, ideally. In a perfect world. Does that mean we still need November right before the 31st? I don't know. I don't I'm not sure how to how to do that. Typically it would, but I mean I can't like Actually, I was going to change it here. Uh Oh, uh, actually it'll be 10 cuz you guys just contributed. You're sweet, sweet. I guess we'll do. Alright, we'll do that for now. We'll see how it goes. They have two cards in hand? No, do not put that in the graveyard. Put it into my sweet, sweet hand. And please don't have another counter spell. I will cry. Do you really want me to cry? Okay, well, you're just a dick. That's cool. That's cool, bro. Playing your little... I live in Florida now. I have for a couple years now. One to oh uh no, keep that too. You have one card? Fingers crossed. Nailed it. Alright, we're good. We've survived. We've survived the Murph Apocalypse of twenty eighteen. The Murph Apocalypse. Don't care about any of these things that you're doing. Uh, no. Here's what's going to happen. Let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm going to bounce your little turd. You're going to spell pierce it. I accept. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have no cards in hand? Yeah, we'll come at you. I'll take seven here. Would you rather fight 100 tequila bottle size Michaels or Michael after he drank a tequila? Uh, Michael after he drank a tequila bottle. I don't know why I kept that. I don't think I care. I think you're dead. Um, so let's let's play one, two, one, two, one, two. We're gonna do three, I guess. I'd like to play around spell pierce. I don't think I care. Right? Whatever. What would they what would they draw that they can't play? It's 
hundred percent a counter spell. Like they would have played anything else. It could be a land. Did they play a land? No, they couldn't have played a land because they. It could just be a land too. But they obviously have disdainful stroke, spell pierce, and wizard's retort. So I'm going to pass here. And we can keep up Raph, which is just fine. We're at 10, so we're not dead by any means. We're going to play Raph, and we can even Jize Millennium Inferno for one if we wanted to. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, that guy resolved, which is A-OK. -okay. So if it's not a counter spell, you're dead. Let's see what this does. Because we can still Jize and Lightning Inferno for three, which is enough to kill you. And that'll do. All right. Well, Lyra is a hell of a drug. This deck seems fine. I have no issues with this deck right now. I don't know if I love Ruinous Blast, but it's probably a necessary evil. Do we just want three mana counter spells? Like, do we just want, like, Ionize or Sinister Sabotage in here? I don't mind Ionize. I think it's just better than Essence Scatter at this point because we have enough two mana removal spells to deal with creatures. I would rather deal with bigger creatures. It's just nice to have something that can take care of like Eldest Reborn and Golgari Fine Broker and Vraska. And the damage is not inconsequential. I almost like it better than Syncopate, too. God, you thinking about the Essence Scatter? Are you still here? I told you to get out of here! I think I want to take out Syncopates in general. I don't like Syncopate as a counterspell. I just like, I just want four Ionizes. That's all I want to do. It's all I want to do. I want to take out one of the Urza's Ruinous Blasts. I think one is good. And maybe add, like, one more Settle the Wreckage to the main. Let's try that. Actually, we have we have more. Look how much look how much we have in the sideboard. We got another Settle. Got another Ruinous Blast. Got three of these. This is a lot of creature removal. I was actually thinking more life gain. I like the Lyras, and I was literally wondering what else I could have for life gain. Oh, Cleansing Nova does seem good. Does it? Urza's Ruinous Blast has to be better than Cleansing Nova, right? Maybe? Cleansing Nova can't take care of Planeswalkers, which is a problem, but I mean, like, what can? Is there anything in standard that does take care of Planeswalkers? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking I'm thinking Cleansing Nova is probably just better than, or worse than uh, Ruinous Blast most of the time. Because most of the time you're getting both enchantments, artifacts, and creatures with Urza's, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Blast. There's not many legendary enchantments and uh, artifacts that you could get. And if you could get them, you're also not getting the creatures. I do like one more Lyra. Hmm. Let me take out for one Lyra. I could probably see taking out one Jai's Million Inferno for another Lyra. Hmm. It's tempting. Gets sort of enchantments and artifacts too. Yeah, but so does Yeah, so does Ruinous Blast though. I don't love three settles. What what's wrong with you? I like one Karn. I kind of do think this deck misses a four mana planeswalker. I'll try one Karn. I almost like two Karns here, but. Very true, very true. Very true. It also feels bad. Uh, I actually like Ionize better than Sinister Sabotage. I think it's easier on the mana. It's easier for a deck like this to have one red and one blue than double blue. Um, and it's also, I think the two damage is not irrelevant. But I do think Sinister Sabotage is good. It's very good, obviously. I shouldn't even have to, I don't even have to qualify that, I guess. I 
I do like two squeeze. I think squeeze are very, very good. Surprisingly good. Like, just, it's so hard to get rid of. <laughs> Sabotage has an S Conta trigger on it. That's a good point. Cuckoos? What's a cuckoo? What are you saying right now? Cakes. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, I wasn't like, I was like, I didn't know if that was just a word I didn't understand. I was like, what's a cuckoo? Look at those tasty cuckoo. I was like, is that an internet meme that I just don't know about? The problem with Deafening Clarion is that most of our creatures... Nah, not most, I guess. Yeah. I like Deafening Clarion. I think I like it better than... Like, the problem with Clarion is that it kills Raph... I guess the other one kills Squee. It kills Raph and Captain Lannery Storm, whereas Fiery, Fiery Cannonade does not. Why don't you play one or two of that Meteor spell that wipes everything for your opponent? Common of extent. So here's, I want to play in standard. I want to play this card. True Fire Captain. Whenever it's dealt damage, deals damage damage to target player. And I want to play Star of Extinction. Deals twenty damage to each creature in each planeswalker. And then I just want to kill them with that. Can we do that? I'm always surprised that not more people from the stream don't actually join these constructed matches. Like, when I'm sitting in the queue, I'm surprised that people aren't just like, yeah, let me join. I'll play against you. I will mulligan this hand. It doesn't seem great. This seems worse. Going to five. This seems good. All right. We'll keep it. Uh, I wish I could put you in the graveyard. You got to go on the bottom, though. Sorry, old friend. Remember when Talon Trooper was legal in standard? Do you mean police cop? Or bird cop, hawk, cop, cop, hawk, police cop, police hawk. It's because we're all watching from work. I think that's actually true. I think most of you guys are watching at work. All of my cards are out of standard items. You want you get out of here? Why don't you leave then? Did you ever think about that? Got him again. Oh, this guy's aggressive. One hundred percent that. One hundred percent at work watching on my phone. <laughs> I am your work friend. I'm like your work entertainment. I like it. I like that you guys have uh have jobs that allow you to to watch streams at work though. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, barman, we have a good time. This 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 is a tumultuous relationship. The ups and downs. You need to stop getting people before I put the inescapable blaze on. P How dare you? I'll never let you put the inescapable blaze on me. I don't want this. I want a land that comes into play untapped. Nailed it. I'm at home because Frank deserves my attention even when I have other things I could do. I appreciate that. And so, let's be real. There's no other things you could do. None like this anyway. This is our time now. Goonies never say die. Watching Frank is my job? Wow, that's... I had no idea. I don't know what the pay is like for that, but it doesn't seem like it'd be great. That's a beautiful chicken. I am Raphael Capuchin. Heir to the Capuchin fortune. Um, Graveyard. Getting Squee in the graveyard off of an Escanta is like the best feeling ever. Well, we're not going to attack here. Pay is horrible. But the benefits are also pretty bad. <laughs> well, the pay is not great, but the benefits also not great. I'll see myself out. 
Oh, today's pajama day? If you guys are looking for some comfy pajamas, you can go to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off. And they have free shipping and free returns. Are you going to kill your own chicken here? Wow, that is aggressive. I hope I can kill that thing. You sound like Ethan Klein? That's a, I'll take that as a compliment. I want the real deal, not the sales pitch. They're actually extremely comfortable. Uh, they're made from a micro, micro modal fabric and uh, I actually have some right here and they are unbelievably soft. Like it's pretty ridiculous. They also have free returns. So if you tried them out, you didn't like them, just return them. If I'm lying to you, just return them, send them back for free. Does 15% off mean that would be too? <laughs> yeah, it's, so you have to order a size 15% larger than you in order to, uh, uh, no, I'll keep this in order to make sure you get, uh, did you wear No, no. All the, all the underwear that I show off on the stream is not worn because that'd be weird. And, uh, this is a pretty normal stream despite the, the memes. <laughs> I can't buy underwear because they were against my release. That's, I respect that. I don't understand it, but I respect it. And, uh, I, I feel, I feel bad for your friends. Is really what I'm getting at. And you just rubbed it on. Yeah, I know, but I already covered that they're not worn. Do you get anything when we order something through your link? Yes, I do. I get a, I get a kickback from that. It is my affiliate link. So if you guys do order me undies, if you order me undies, um, yeah, definitely go through my link because I'll get an affiliate kickback. So that's also another way to help the stream if you guys need underwear, if you need uh, lounge pants, socks, tees. They have a bunch of stuff. They also have Star Wars underwear right now, which is super cool. I think I'm going to die to this chicken, I want to be honest with you guys. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about it. The 50% is really awkward. The sizing chart says each size is 22% bigger than the one below. Yeah, well, think about that then. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Are you still in India? Hmm, I think we just make a squee here. And if they want to get rid of our squeeze somehow. God, Captain Lannery Storm, you're so big. You're such a sizable pirate. Oh, man, you're going to be there till Christmas. You're going to be there for like two more months, huh? That's crazy. I streamed last night. I'm not sure if there's a better time for you to catch because I've been streaming at different times recently. Not recently, but I've put in a couple. I've threw a couple late streams in recently, um, so I'm not sure if there's a, an easier time for you to catch, considering you're halfway across the world, literally halfway across the world, literally halfway across the world. I'm actually just going to attack with Lannery Storm, and she's going to die, but that's okay. Just because I want the lotus, uh, the lotus petal out of it. How much stuff to donate for you to stream in a costume for Halloween? Oh my God, that's a great question. I don't know. We also have to figure out what the costume was. What happens if you all the way across the world? Are you in the same? What? I don't understand what that question means. That's like a real cuckoo's question. Yeah, Lannery Storm, you gotta go. I'm sorry. Can't you just dress as Mike B? Wow. I've begun the process of gathering some interesting slicks. That sounds awesome. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Well, they don't have any white mana, so Shalai is literally just... Um... Okay. 
So Shalai is literally just uh A 3-2, three, 3-4, three, 3-5. Three, oh, not again. God, I keep messing this up. These always, these always scare me. They have three cards, so they could kill our Wrath. How come you're not working from the middle of the Indian Ocean? That seems like a better choice. Seems like you made a pretty big misplay there. Oh, if you lightning strike now, it's gonna be so nice. Oh, yes. Unless you're shocking our face. I don't actually know who you're shocking. Niv Mizzet? Sure, I'll draw a card. Sure, I'll shoot your bird. Yeah, you should have shocked before, before this died because then I would have to choose something else. Just don't have another one. Chain Whirler. Well, m well, biscuits. Butter me biscuits. Better be something good. I can't in good conscience put that in the graveyard because it does a thing that we want done. All right, well... Oh, actually, we can play a squee here, right? One, two, three, and then we can keep up Justice Strike. Yeah, I like that. Red, white, red. Okay, do we have any non Swole or, or Mike B esque costume suggestions that you guys want to make? Cobra Commander. That seems like it'd be difficult to actually play. One, two, three. Oh, man, we are... What is this bug flying around here? Man, I ain't having it. Look at, look at these squeeze doing, doing work. Doctor Strange, that seems tricky, but I like it. Bojack Horseman. <laughs> okay, well that's a good one. I don't I don't hate it. Ixalon's Schminding. Alright. If you attack with both, we're hundred percent blocking here. So then we trade. And we'll take three anyway from this guy if you pump. So that's cool. You just letting this guy die? Do you get a one here? They went to one. Emulating Inferno one time. Temporal Sundering. Ugh. I think we're dead. So we play a squee, we can block here, and then we die to this guy. This game was surprisingly close. Justice Strike. It's a good one. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh my god, it's literally like flying right in front of my face. I guess we can hope they play something. <laughs> Maybe they play something good. Maybe they try to lightning strike us. That would be amazing. They didn't. They did not do that.
Good game. Wow, one to one. Okay, so. I'll throw Ashiok into the Halloween cosplay mix? Oh my god. This is too, like, I don't want something that's, like, infinite work. Like, Ashiok actually seems like that would take... I'm not a professional cosplayer, guys. And there's also only, like, ten days before thanks, before ha Thanksgiving. Before Halloween now. So, let's not... Let's not go crazy. Or go crazy. You know, it's, it's whatever. It's your choice. Lava Coil seems great against their chickens. Uh, Fire Cannonade seems pretty good. I'm gonna take two Temporal Sunderings out. One emulating Inferna out. Inferna. I'll take one of the Infernas out. And I'll just bring in two cannonades. Actually, Baird seems pretty good, right? Also around the world bits. Three. <laughs> Billy, thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciate it. I'll take the Karn out for the Baird. Uh, I'll take a Captain out for a Baird. What did Small Talk say? Why couldn't you cast the extra turn spell? Uh, oh, because we didn't have any legendary creatures or planeswalkers in play. We had a legendary land uh, in Escanta, but we did not have... Um, uh, you have to have a creature or a planeswalker specifically, unfortunately. What up, Atomic Frog? I can't find any of these Star Wars under it. Really? Let me see if I can find it for you. Boom. But if you get these, make sure to use my affiliate link, please. I will play first. <sighs> Sand seems good. I like this. If we can just hit lands, we're in good shape. Also, one thing I noticed yesterday, I was watching a Reed Duke video. And I love Reed. He's a wonderful human being. And we have the, all of the same stop set. All of the same stops except for one our draw step. And I thought that was funny because I feel like I have a, a lot more stops than most people have on. So it surprised me that uh, we had all the same stop set. Yep, this hand's pretty good now. Oh shit, they're glow in the dark too? <laughs> Gas. I will take one. Are they missing land drops? They did go to six, so it is possible they don't have a land here. Oh, they they juked me out. Um Yeah, that's annoying. One, two, three. I like that Fiery Kennedy does not kill Lannery Storm. Like, this is actually a legitimate perk for me right in here. I am a, I am sold. Your stream is good. Well done. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I've been, I do what I can. I'm just one man. Stone Quarry. Is that how it's pronounced? Quarry? A stone quarry? No one says stone quarry. I'm going to just play a Lyra here, and we'll see what you can do about that. This is where they go, Ixalan's binding. I think he was talking about your stream, your steam vents. Oh, oh, my steam is good. My steam vents is good. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. My bad. Dude, you make a sweet Reed Richards? That's actually, I. that's a great compliment. I I take that as the uh, as one of the highest tier compliments there is. I'm going to take three because if I block, you're just going to shock my liar. Actually, she has first strike. What could you have done there? Oh, an Aurelia. Oh, 
Oh, that's scary. Well, that is something. So we got ionized justice striking candy. We have three things, but none of them are due that much. Also, yeah, me and me and John Krasinski both both make good Reed Richards. Marvel, if you're listening, John Krasinski for Reed Richards. Zaichi, I did. Did you end up being able to fill out the form? You got it. I wish she was a five five. <laughs> I was actually tempted to wear a green uh like a green thing. This is eight damage. I'm just going to take 8 here. Because I want to keep Ionize up. Ionize, they're watching you. Sweet. Good to hear it. Keep me posted. Because every... I think it's every week. Um, there's a, a MeUndies giveaway where you guys can win a free pair. Goblin Banneret, I don't care about, especially if I'm going to fire a cannonade. Oh, but then they actually deal three to this. They just lightning strike our, our lady. That seems bad. Quote from their website, we ship all orders from our warehouse in Los Angeles to everywhere in the world, including P.O. boxes and all military locations. That's actually sweet. I don't like lightning strike here. That is a little scary. So they go to nine here, sure. And if we attack and they... Squee the immortal. Yeah, we're just gonna attack here, go to 12, Plus one is 13, because that's how math works. So now if we fire a cannon, they actually have to. This guy, they have to let this guy die, and they have to let Banneret die. But you're blurring the lines. But that ain't enough for hunger. I don't know. But that ain't enough, don't. This is actually nice because our. Um, now they can't cast their. Now they can't lightning strike our Lyra, so we just get to untap with the Lyra in play, which is pretty sick. I will take four. I do think we want a 26 land in here as well. As you can see, it is turn 7 and we have missed 3 land drops, which is not ideal for a control deck that wants to hit all its land drops. Oh. Alright, cool. You play. Now we just get to keep up double ionize, which literally means they can't cast 2 spells or else we kill them. I like it. This'll be one ionize. Yeah, that's gonna do it. All right, got him. 
Won't you blur in the lines? Well, that ain't enough again. You wanna know? I kind of like Essence Scatter just because they have chickens and Aurelias. Take out one ionize for a Essence Scatter. I actually feel like this deck is well positioned against them. As long as we can hit our land drops. <laughs> I kind of like this hand, but I really hope we hit land drops. May I ask a serious question? Matthew Ori, why would you not be able to ask a serious question? But yes, that's a, that actually is a good point. I like Chemister's insight, insight here. That does feel good. Insight makes me feel good. How's Beard? Beard been? Beard is a sideboard card, and we just boarded it in. This is the first time we boarded it in, so I, I would not be able to tell you immediately. I really... This card is actually extremely rude. All right. Well, we really want to hit some, some land drops here before... I don't, I don't feel like we're going to lose this game based on the quality of our deck, or I just feel like we're going to lose it based on the quality of our draws, rather. Okay, I didn't play anything else. And we missed the land drop. That's 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 a that's a death sentence, unfortunately. That is bad. Yeah. Blah. I mean, I guess if they play Rekindling Phoenix or Aurelia, we have to counter it, so that's cool. While also going to 9 life and not having played a card in this game. Yeah, I definitely want a 26 land in this deck. Like, if you, if you, if you get stuck on lands, you're just basically dead. Go to 7. We can play a Justice Strike on your Vanguard, which doesn't do anything... There's even no reason to cast that here, unfortunately. I think we're just dead. I mean, I'm 100%. I'm 98% certain we are just dead here. Unlucky, lucky, lucky, lucky. Yep. They're just like, I don't have to play anything, so I won't. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, we had a good run. This was not ideal. I think we're 2 1 right now, and, and we lost. I, don't, I wouldn't even say we lost it due to quality there. I think we just lost to lands. I don't love Lannery Storm, but she's been good. It's really, it's a weird thing. I'm going to take one Ionize out, and I'm just going to add another land here. We got four Glacials, four Clifftops, and four Sulfur. We have three Steam Vents and three Sacred Foundries. Based on Niv Mizzet, I probably want another Steam Vents. I also think we can take a one Temporal Sundering out. I think f this is too many. Same thing with Emulating Inferno. These cards are great, but they're a little restrictive. Hmm. I don't think we need the Fourth Justice Strike. I think I want to add another Karn. I do like Chemister's Insight Insight here. I have underwear that's both great and restrictive. Well, that's good. That's good. Snap Guide has sent me a message. What are you what are you saying, Snap Guide? I got next game if you like. Deal. Deal. All right. Uh, I don't think we need... So we have, in the main deck, we have two Settles. Not the main board, because that's not a thing. And we have an Urza's Ruinous Blast. In the sideboard, we have three Fiery Cannonades, another Settle, and another Ruinous Blast. I don't think they'll settle out. I don't think we need th three Settles and two Ruinous Blasts and three Fiery Cannonades in the same deck. Is there... I think Deafening Clarion is probably good, just to give our guys lifelink, but which guys really need lifelink? Lannery Storm would be dead. 
Raph would be dead. So, like, we're not going to... If we're boarding it in and we're choosing the lifelink portion over the destroy all creatures portion, we're probably already winning. I don't know if I like Azor either. Like, I think Niv-Mizzet is just better than Azor. Right, my point is if you choose both, if you kill all the guys on board, like, if you choose both, you're going to lose Lannery, Storm, Squee, and Raph. Okay. So... Um... And then what you guys are getting lifelink. Basically, Niv-Mizzet is the only creature that doesn't have lifelink that survives to get lifelink. Uh, Lannery Storm has been great so far. I mean, I would I would love to agree with you, but I think this has been very, very good. Uh, Thundergrey, um, yes, they do. You should email... Are you If you're on Twitter, send a message to Andy Kuberfaust. It should be Kuberfaust. Send a message to Andy if you're interested. He's a good dude. Um, so this is 60 cards. I'm just working on the sideboard right now. I'm just working on the sideboard. I really, I would kill for an anger of the gods right now just because 500, got to go do some adulting for a bit. Three, <laughs> three. Wait, how much is this for us? This is 10... This is a thousand. Five hundred. Gotta go do some adulting for a bit. Three hundred. Be back in a bit. Four hundred bits. I don't even understand what's happening right now. The five hundred is real out of place because you got three hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Billy, I I think somewhere along the line between your trip from Seattle to India, I think you forgot how to count, buddy. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not looking good. I done messed up with the text. <laughs> I accept. I accept your your admission of mistakes. It's like I don't think these numbers work the way you think they work. Oh god, I don't know what there's like I just wanna what's a good sideboard? I just want a lava a lava coil. I could also see shock being good. Shock kills a lot of things for one mana. I actually like shock. Let's do shocks. Uh, one shock. Let's get the other Runus Blast. Put two shocks in the sideboard. I like that. I don't think we need... Yeah, okay. That's good. I like that. And I'm just going to challenge... Snap, snap Guide here. I like Shock better because it goes to the face. And, uh... We are trying to burn. However, Shiv and Fire is pretty good because of its uh, scalability. I also do like Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope seems good as well. I'll keep this hand. This is the result of adding one extra land. Now you get five land hands. Five land openers. What's the blaze for? Uh, it's for 420 blazing. Everybody knows that. Uh, I assume it's for the more controlling decks. You can just bring in another six mana, burn your face. Oh, you don't blaze it. That's true. That's true. I don't blaze it. But you know what? I support people who blaze it, and I believe blazing it is uh, should be your right. What a big fan! <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty blaze it now legal in Canada. That's true. That is true. Okay, see this is what happens when you add when you add too many lands to your deck. But we also added card draw. We also added chemistry's insight in a in a Karn, which is great because it should let us filter through some of these draws. And 
We have a lot of lands to discard two things like Chemister's Insight, which is nice. Don't be a land. I literally said don't be. It's like you didn't even listen to me. It's like you don't even listen. I agree. As someone who does not smoke, I agree that it should be legal everywhere. Okay. This is enough lands. One, two, three, four. Nine is, is where I draw the line. Nine lands, two spells is really where I draw the line in terms of... Uh... I am. I'm a... Uh... I'm a cannabis ally, as they say. But my theory is that if you have alcohol legal, which is a significantly more dangerous substance, I think you should just have weed legal. It's kind of stupid. It's just an antiquated old white man rule. God, old white guys are like the least fun people on the planet, man. Let me tell you. So you're saying bring back... I'm saying the opposite. Won't somebody please think of the children? That's a that's a solid Simpsons meme. Actually, what if I put that on the... I feel like that should be on the soundboard. That's very good. That's very good. Ganja friendly, no meat, comic book fan Frank. Bro, we gotta hang out. I'm in. Let's do it. I'm game. Hey, look, we did it. We hit another land. Hey, that's a pretty good. JK, it was not pretty good. This is a this is a grindy match here. Oh, that's a good dude. What are the odds he resolves? Zero. Unfortunately, we don't have enough counterspells in the main deck for me to wait to play this guy. We just have to hope. And we can avoid a Syncopate, which is nice. But we can't avoid an Ionize or a Sinister Sabotage or a Negate. And it looks like an Ionize. That is sad. My opinion is only a little bit different than yours. I think it should be legal at age 18. However, establishment should be able to ban its smoking if they choose. And employers should be able to ban. Um, so I agree with everything you said. Actually, I think obviously 18 is fine because it's a, it's still a, it's still a substance, right? It's still a drug substance. But um, I think places should be able to ban it just because it is smoking, just like regular smoking. And some people are sensitive to that. The only thing I don't agree with is um, employers being able to demand drug-free employees because. If that's the case, I think they should also be able to demand alcohol-free employees. Um, I don't think an employee who goes out every night and drinks, uh, you know, to get drunk or to get buzzed or whatever, is any different from an employee who smokes a joint to relieve anxiety or to just hang out with friends. Um, I think those are very, very similar things. If, in fact, the alcohol is likely worse because people are, are more violent and abusive on alcohol than they are on, on cannabis... And uh, so I think if any, if any, if there's any drug testing, if you're looking specifically for um, what is it, C CBD? Um, if you're looking specifically for that, then you should also look for alcohol. Or if you're drug testing, don't look for CBD because that's I just don't think it has any sort of adverse effect to an employee. THC, okay. That's that's that that was the acronym I was looking for. Oh, 
<laughs> well, they can't be high going into work, but they also shouldn't be able to be drunk going into work, right? I mean, if someone does it on their recreation and their off time, like that's totally fine. I, I agree with you there. Somebody please think of the children. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh, I can't pay a blue, I guess. That's weird. How come Magic Online won't let you play a blue mana for Justice Strike? Is that a bug? Is this loss? Won't somebody think of the children? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've drawn 11 lands and 5 spells. Not a great ratio. But the point is like if I smoke last night, right? If I had if I had if I had if I did some smoking last night and I go into work tomorrow, it's still going to be in my system. So drug testing for that is not like I'm going to lose my job because I did it in my off time, right? So like that seems bad. Won't somebody think of the children? I can't actually cast this. I totally forgot I couldn't cast this. Is this a pile? Are you a pile? Got him! Oof. I also think that uh, workplaces should ban mosquitoes as well. Yeah, the problem is that THC stays in your system and it's testable way longer than alcohol is. Right, that's my point. So, like, if you're smoking at night, um, or if you're drinking alcohol at night, only one of those is going to be tested for the next day. And uh, it's not really... Graveyard. I feel like they've just drawn a lot more things than we have. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. Not thrilled with how this is going. I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Mosquitoes do kill more people than anything. It's a it's a damn epidemic it is. I'll take a million because that's how magic works. They have seven cards in hand. I don't think we're ever going to get out of this one alive. Niv surviving, surviving Urza's Blast is pretty sad. Yeah, alright, so we are just going to concede this game. I feel like we want more Teferis and less Urza's Ruinous Blasts. That's my theory. Urza's can come out, Settles can come out. <laughs> but it was not GG, it was BG. I'm gonna bring in this Aurelia. Take out Lava Coil. T Ionize is good, Insight's good. Yes, yes, I did. you get flooded? Yes, yes, I did. That is a correct assessment of what happened. Uh, take those guys out. Bring in negate, negate, negate. Please, no worries. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be sad about that. Settle only gets rid of like. We only saw Drake and uh, the other dude, Niv Mizzet, and I. You know, if if we're settling Niv Mizzet, they're already two for one. I guess they're getting a land and a card out of it. So, I'm not I'm not super high on settle as an answer for Niv Mizzet and crackling Drakes. I don't think the issue is 100% legalized medical marijuana. And on top of that, they're funding for research in the medical. Yeah, I agree with you.
I think I agree with you. I'm not sure what the... And on top of that, but in funding for research in the medical marijuana from our tax... What was the last part you meant? But my dreams, they are as empty. As my Lannery storm seems to be. Don't, don't justice strike this. Wow, you're a jerk. Set behind blue spells. Uh oh, Twitch doctors in chat. <laughs> well, actually, yes. Well, we can't surveil because no cards. No cards let us surveil, right? I actually agree that for-profit prisons are just repurposed legal slavery. It's pretty stupid. I don't know if I'd put it that way, but I think that's not an unreasonable way to put it, so... Ha oh. What is Squee doing in here? Just hanging out. What are you doing in here? Just hanging out as well. Hey, everybody hanging out, huh? Oh, giving me this ionized man is real good. I like it. That's fine. I mean, the best part about legalizing marijuana is that it the, the amount of tax money you get, the taxation on marijuana, is utterly insane. And all these cities that have legalized it have seen such a, a huge influx of uh, of tax money. Man. Oh, 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 biscuits. Are you ready for this? Look how good Landry Storm is. Like, Landry Storm just giving us an extra, an extra land, land on turn three. Um, or letting us cast this Niv Mizzet here. Red, red, blue, blue, red, and red. Colorado was actually giving taxes back to people at some point. Yeah, that's correct. They actually had a surplus of taxes, so they got everyone got a little bit of a refund, which is utterly insane. Like that's just so crazy. Like there, we there, we have a trillion dollar deficit in the United States, and like if these old friggin' white men would just literally legalize marijuana, like you, your your liter your 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 budget your deficit would go away overnight. Not not really, but I mean significantly fast. Is anyone arguing? Can we talk about MTG not like stuff in the newspapers? Like I can read the newspaper. Well, what? That doesn't even make any sense. So if you can find the stuff we talk about anywhere else, then we can't talk about it? Is that what you're saying? Because that doesn't really make any sense. People have opinions. 
we're having a conversation. I don't really see that. I don't, that doesn't really feel like it's unreasonable. I mean, people aren't allowed being drunk at work. I don't think it's reasonable to let people be high at work. I also don't. I don't think that's. I don't think that's reasonable either. So I hope that's not what anyone is suggesting. This is pretty inescapable. I had a feeling that tonight's gonna be a blaze. <laughs> how how fitting that we play an escapable blaze. Never mind listening to that sound. Thought it was just Twitch chat talking about stuff. Didn't realize you were talking about it too. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Weird. That's so weird that you would like mute the the stream for that. Like. Like wow. Talk about putting your head in the sand. Uh, I think we're actually good. I don't want to hear what you're talking about anymore. I agree. Lava Coil being a sorcerer makes me super sad. Um, I'm not sure it's it's probably too good as, a, as an instant though to be real I should be able to get high on my own time and not worry about losing my I agree with 100% 100% with that it's weird that it can be legalized in a state you could be in that state and you could still face penalties from like drug testing it's like but why it's legal it's literally legal like it's like it's like testing someone for cigarettes or for alcohol when you're on a job like it doesn't make sense like it's it's it makes me wonder what the what the point of the word legality is because it just doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem like it's factually accurate i mean if you want to watch and mute the stream that's totally fine that is your prerogative good friends good friends and compatriots anyway it's just weird that we should have to have a, uh, a specific list of things we can and can't talk about based on whether they were in the newspaper that day. So <laughs> that was a really kind of weird distinction. I hear about this in my regular life. Let's not talk about it. All right. I do need some blue mana here, specifically non red lands. Do the legendary spells work with Raph? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, he's a legendary creature, so yes, they do. Yes, they do. And by work, uh, he, he both allows you to cast them and you can cast them at instant speed. That is not a dumb question. That is a totally reasonable question, my friend. Okay, another red-white land. Not ideal. Whatever. If you want to counter this or put this in the graveyard, that's fine. I have more. Ionize! <laughs> yep. Being federally illegal and state legal is very weird to me, and I don't actually understand that distinction completely. Wow. All right, so just mono red lands dot deck, I guess. I'll give you a bunch of stuff. Oh, resolved. Lannery Storm getting in there. All right, so any blue land, we can just cast niv Mizzet next turn, which probably puts us way far ahead. I can't hear after that one. That one was deafening. Blue land. It's not a blue land. 
Well, I guess we're just going to pass here because we cannot niv miss it, unfortunately. Draw more nerd. Oh, God, I f 6 because I was typing my opponent. As a libertarian candidate, I have to, had to research this topic in depth and be able to talk to voters about it. I have found that most conservatives are for the legalization as well. Smaller government and shortening their reach, etc. Um, I'm going to negate this. Which puts us way farther away from niv -Mizzet, but... I say use for medical reasons. If I go and apply for a federal-based job, they'll have you drug test. If I fail, which I would, I'm not getting the job. Just for trying to be healthy and not on the toilet 20 times in a day. Yeah, Crohn's is rough. All right, we're doing it. Oh, we can keep up Insight and Ionize? This game's probably over. Jakisha in the house. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, you can have that. That's okay. That's okay. Uh oh, what are you doing here? Oh no. Oh no, this guy never. Give me a blue source. Josh, where are my blue sources at, bro? This guy. Americans have no clue how far right they have... I, I agree with you completely. It scares me a little bit. It feels like they want to be back in the 1800s. It's very strange. It is really strange. I thought the deck was blue! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, Roseanne, you're a national treasure. I wish I could actually use that meme and just record, uh, change the change the word she uses to the word deck I I would also take uh, a steam vents as well hollow fountain or steam vents one time Oh, Democrats only right wingers? That's interesting. That is not. That's interesting. What was the other card that was? Oh, a Karn's Temporal Sundering, eh? I guess if you ionize that, you go to one. Huh. Well, let's try not to get too political here. I think the I think the legal marijuana question was good. Uh, the conversation, rather, was good. I don't think we necessarily need to stray into left wing, right wing politics here. Oh, this guy. He's got your number. What if we did a justice strike? We can justice strike our own creature. <laughs> I'll give you the D face. A solid. 
They did. They sent me multiple pairs. I got I got a red here. I got a little maroon, and I got a gray here. These are all clean, never worn, and they're super soft. They're like extremely soft. And then I even got some socks here. Some some uh, some no show socks, micromodal no show socks. With a seamless toe. This toe is just seamless. I will shoot you for the lols. Good game. Good games. Good games. Do 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 do. Actually, maybe we want three chemistries insight instead of a Karn. I kind of like that better because it lets us keep up instant stuff. I like the Karn. Actually, I like the Karn because it does. Um, it lets you cast Immolating Inferno and Temporal Sundering. I think this is actually correct. I think the way this looks now is really, really good. Um, you have one Urza's Ruinous Blast, which is kind of narrow, so you don't want too many. Uh, more Karns does equal more ways to cast these, and you don't want these getting clogged in your hand. So I think two and two is the right number. Um... Lannery Storm was actually great. Uh, she trades with some early creatures. She ramps you. Even just ramping from 3 to 5, which is a super relevant number for you, is great. I could see adding a Teferi somewhere, but I'm not sure what you'd cut for it. Maybe even just Ruinous Blast. But I think having one is, is good. Um, Squee, also great. Especially now with the Chemist's Insight, you can just put Squee. Also, I think if you exile a Squee with a Karn, you can still cast it because it's in exile. Which is pretty sweet. Um, no, no Joyra. I don't know. Joyra's kind of... Yeah, Lyra and Karn are, uh, are very good. They're very good boys. Karn also coming down on three is nice, because you want a Planeswalker that... Or on four, rather, because you want a Planeswalker that can come down early. Ionize is a good hard counter spell that I'm pretty... I'm a pretty big fan of. I can see playing Sinister Sabotage, but I don't think you... I don't know. The two damage is relevant. Like, this is a deck that deals damage incrementally. Like... These are all cards that can deal some incremental damage. Whatever. It's it's. I, th I think it can go either way. Like I said, though, I do think it's easier to get one red and one blue than double blue in a deck like this. So, either way, this is the deck. Hopefully, hopefully, um, I actually like it a lot. I think this is a pretty sweet. Uh, well, our first round was green black, and we ended up crushing it. So, um, hopefully, this is. You see some. If you play it again, you can see some success with it because I think it's actually pretty sweet. But um, I don't like Nexus of Fate more than Karn's Temporal Sundering. Like six mana versus seven is is just not. That's a big difference. Um, and also Temporal Sundering being able to bounce a permanent like a Vraska or an Eldest Reborn or something. They're going to get to cast it again, but you're going to get another turn, and then you can recounter it on the way back down or something. So, uh, Fight with Fire is good to the face, but I'd rather just play Inescapable Blaze because. It's not very frequently you have 9 or 10 mana. I'm not sure how much Fight with Fire is. I think it's 9 to kick. Oh, I just I entered Fight. That's not going to be good. Yeah, so 9 total. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the video. But if you're watching on YouTube, really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And like I said, you can check me out on MeUndies.com slash Frank if you're looking for some super comfortable underwear uh, or lounge pants or tees or socks, any of those things. And you get a 15% discount with my affiliate link. And you also get free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Both of those links are in the description below. And you can find the final deck list there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.